Unclaimed Territory is great for five color tribal decks, and given its success in our recent five color human deck, it raises the question of how many other five color tribal decks are now viable. And since Tribal Spirits is one of my favorite tribes of all time, I figure why not try and make five color spirits work? Now, most viable spirits are in blue and white, so people could just make a blue white spirit deck, and that's totally fine. And while a handful of the blue and white spirits are quite good, it's quite hard to fill out an entire deck of just blue and white spirits. So having five colors in the deck really opens up your options. But the problem is when you look for spirits in colors like black or red or green, most of those spirits are just simply unplayable in those colors. However, there is one really good spirit in each of those three colors, and those three spirits are Strangleroot, Bloodgast, and Eidolon. And in spirit decks up until now, there really hasn't been a chance to play these three cards because they are double colored to cast. But given how flexible our mana base is, dropping Mausoleum Wanderer turn one, then Eidolon turn two, and Bloodgast turn three is pretty reasonable. So now let's walk through the whole deck. We have the similar mana base to our humans deck. We've got four Unclaimed Territories, four Ancient Ziggurats, four Cavernous Souls, four Reflecting Pools, and just because the non-blue, non-white spirits cost double of their color, we've also added four Mana Confluences. It's a bit risky to play this card against aggro decks, but sometimes you just need to have it. We've also got one Seacrum Coast, and like our human deck, we have one Basic Land in case they use Path to Exile on us, or Ghost Quarter. And other than the three off-color spirits I already mentioned, we also have four Mausoleum Wanderers, four Selfless Spirits, four Rattle Chains, four Drog Skull Captains, four Spell Callers, which are really good value. And lastly, we have two Geist of St. Traps, which is good against control decks, but against creature decks, not so much. But I feel like we need to include it in the deck because it is a spirit. And then of course, we have our four Ether Vials, which works conveniently well with Unclaimed Territory. Moving on to sideboard, we definitely have to cram in as many spirits as possible, which is why I have three Katakis for artifacts, and two Spirit of Labyrinths for decks that draw a lot of cards, plus Idol on a Reddick, which works well against Snapcaster and Storm. And moving on to the non-spirit sideboard cards, we've got four Relics for Graveyard Hate, one Path to Exile, one Pithing Needle, one Worship, and lastly, one really cool card, Fire Spout, which works really well if you have a lot of flyers and your opponent has a lot of ground creatures. It's basically a board wipe for your opponent. But enough talk, let's move on to gameplay. But first, if you want to see more content like this, you can let me know by subscribing, let me know by commenting. Just tell me what you want to see, and I'll be happy to make it. And without further ado, here's the gameplay, and I hope you enjoy. Opening hand looks pretty good. The curve's really nice, so we'll keep. Start off with Mausoleum Wanderer, pass back, Dark Confidant. What to do here? I think Eidolon might be the best move here because with Dark Confidant out, he's going to take a lot of damage. Or not a lot, but you know, he's going to take some damage from that and from Eidolon, so I think we're in good shape if we put Eidolon out. Swing for two. What will they pull with Dark Confidant? Liliana. Huh, okay. Opponent swings in for two, no blocks, and a Tarmogoyf. Cool. But nothing's in the graveyard. Now the question is, do we use Selfless Spirit? Do we use Rattle Chains? Or I mean, hold on to Rattle Chains? I think Selfless Spirit's the right move here. I'll use Selfless Spirit. And swing in for four. Opponent goes to nine. Pull a Lance. They don't take any damage from Dark Confidant this turn. And Liliana comes out. Targeting Selfless Spirit. Well, Selfless Spirit's gonna die. But no attacks from opponent. Hmm. Ancient Ziggurat. So Drog Skull Captain will be really good in response to this. So I think that will clench it here. Swing in with three with a Mausoleum Wanderer. They get a three. Pass back. Pull a Tarmogoyf off the top puts them at one they can't play anything now and there's the concede all right on to game two going to game two i'm gonna get rid of two guys to St. Traff, three islands since we're on the draw put in three relics of progenus one pithing needle and one path to exile and with that let's go to game two opening hand one land hand nope this is better we'll keep vial on top will we see inquisition or thought seize yep so assume our relic is gonna go yes indeed so we put it up vial we kind of got lucky that it was on top of our deck rather than in our hands so yeah thought seize opponent takes the strangle root pull of blood gas and pass back to our opponent dark confidant and might as well flash in rattle chain Pull a selfless spirit. Might as well put it out now. And swing in for two. Back to our opponent. They dark confidant of the forest. And collective brutality with all three modes. Ooh. All right, then. Might as well put out blood gas. So no more path to exile. Opponent swings in for two. Okay. Cavernous souls. We'll swing in for four. And hold on the cavernous souls in case blood gas dies. Opponent takes four down to 11. Pass back. Opponent pulls another dark confidant with dark confidant. Swing in for two again. And another collective brutality with three modes. Ooh. Now their hand's empty. Oh, yeah, because they got rid of the dark confidant. Okay. Another ether vial. Swing in for two. And it's kind of late for the second ether vial, so I'm just going to hang on to it, make him think we have something in hand. Pull a fatal push off the top. Okay. Opponent swings in for two. Back in our turn. Ooh, Drog Soul Captain. Nice. Swing in. Now, do we use Drog Soul Captain? I mean, we could, but could sacrifice the Ghost Quarter to use Fatal Push with Revolt. So I think we should just hold on to it. Pass back to our opponent. They go to six. Ooh, good thing we waited. Dark Confidant gets another Fatal Push. Kind of wish we had Eidolon at this point, because there's been so many plays, and Eidolon really would have helped out. But I mean, if they had Tarmogoyf, then eh. All right, I think at this point we got to use Drog Skull. They could have Fatal Pushed it, but whatever. And a Blood Gas. Hmm, we'll have haste but we gotta use our second land to do it well those have hexproof so okay and maybe we'll just pull another land next turn so swing in so they gotta use their fatal pushes or actually wait they can't because that's right because they need revolt to do it and they won't be able to target this without revolt so all right well there's the match so not too shabby on to the next one opening hand one land hand no we're gonna mull two vials but this time it's a little bit better so we'll keep blood gas uh we can put that on top sure so to start things off ether vial and pass back to our opponent and it looks like it's blue white control or maybe jeskai control hmm okay could drop blood gases from i think 
I'm just gonna go with the Ether Vial. Yeah. I'm gonna place Hall Found Tap back to us. Golden Island, so we have three lands. I guess we'll drop in the Drog Skull Captain. Seems like the right play here. And back to our opponent. Opponent pulls Path to Exile. I guess we can't really do anything about that. And we already have our island out, so we don't get a land. Hmm. All right. Ooh, it is just guy. Okay. And guys to Saint Trap. That's pretty good. So we'll drop in the Selfless Spirit. Spell Caller. Cool. Swing in for two. Back to our opponent. Opponent swing with Geist. Could violence Spell Caller, but I don't think it's worth it. We'll save it. So we go to 14. Opponent tries to pass back to us. So at the end of their turn, we'll use Blood Gast. Our opponent's taking quite some time here. Do they have Path or Bolt? A Snapcaster Mage. Well, we'll definitely use Spell Caller on that. Okay. So back to our turn. Land. We'll swing in for six. And we'll see which of us can outrace the other. Opponent hits us for six again. Sure. And what shall we pull? Spell Caller. That's pretty good. Swing for six. Opponent goes to four. Back to them. Opponent attacks again. Okay. We go to two. Hmm. And an Eidolon. Ooh, nice. Put out the Eidolon. See if we can force our opponent's hand now. No? All right. Swing for six. Will we see Cryptic Command? I bet you there's a Cryptic Command here. Yeah. Cryptic. Yep. All right. Vial in the Spell Queller. And that will be game. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. On to sideboarding. Going into game two, I'm going to get rid of two Strangle Root Geist to put in two Eidolons of Rhetoric because I don't want them using Snapcaster on us. So we'll get rid of these two guys because Path to Exile does take them out pretty easily. So with that, on to game two. Opening hand, three lands, but a hand looks pretty good. Ether Vial, Cavern of Souls pretty good against control so we'll keep pull another cavern so we'll start off with an island maybe should have gone with unclaimed territory but island so we can use vile and pass back pull mausoleum wanderer that's pretty good so we use cavern to play selfless spirit and back to our opponent opponent passes back to us we use mausoleum wanderer eidolon nice go ahead use eidolon now and swing in for four opponent's down to 16 okay and path to exile targeting mausoleum wanderer that's a bit suspicious because why target the mausoleum wanderer hmm do we spell call that it might be worth it because they could have snapcaster get the path back Back. So we'll go ahead and use spell caller. But if they do have another one though, they could hit our spell caller and then get path back. Ugh. Ah, spell caller of their own. Ooh. But our spell caller already hit. So what? I'm so confused. Cause like, why didn't they spell caller our spell caller? Uh, okay. I'm pretty sure that was a misplay on their part. Cause like, yeah, it's not like they take path to exile. Like, oh, oh, okay. Well, I don't really know. Cause they just conceded. I think we we're gonna get it. I mean, having the spell caller out. Uh, now nah, I'm pretty sure we had it. But I would have done that turn. I would have just gone ahead, attacked, then vile in selfless spirit to make indestructible, putting them down to pretty low and then it's waiting for Eidolon to finish them off or build up an army of guys but there really wasn't too much they could do at that point yeah I think we would have gotten that one so on to the next one opening hands a little bit iffy but I think we'll keep it we did get kind of lucky with these two lands here so we can play either the blood gas or the strangled geist on turn two so that's pretty good and turn three could be this that's that's pretty good Ooh, better move quickly here because it looks like we're up against vengeline hollow one hmm. so we'll start things off with geist or the strangle root geist not this geist swing for two no blocks from our opponent back to them I wonder if they have vengeline in deck because there are some black red versions out there without Vengeline. So we'll have to see. And that, that looks like a good case for black red. Cool. We pull a land. Swing for two. Opponent goes to 16. I think the best move here, play Geist and give them an incentive not to attack. Faithless looting. <laughs> Getting rid of two blood gas. Okay. Ooh. And a burning inquiry. Well, one of our blood gas goes there, but man, we're gonna take a shit ton of damage here. <laughs> oh, geez, man. That was fast. Well, we go to seven. Oh man. Play land so we get a blood gas back. And maybe, hmm, I think the best move here is to hold on to spell crawler and attack this turn with him so that we can get him down to nine and give these guys haste for next turn. Yeah, I think we'll do that. So swing with guys, even though we're gonna lose it to the angler. Yeah, and pass the turn back, see if we can survive. Faithless looting, let's stop that using spell caller. Yeah, ah, oh, shit. So faithless looting comes back, and our opponent has us now. So we're going to game two. Going to game two, I'm gonna get rid of two guys to St. Traps because they're a bit slow, and two islands because they are a bit risky because it deals damage to both of us. And instead, we're gonna put in one fire spout for the little creatures, one path to exile, and two Elka Regenus. And with that, let's go to game two. Opening hand, we do have one land, but vile, no, it's not gonna work with that land. So we're gonna do a mulligan. Ooh, man, this is bad. But we'll try and keep it. Spell color. Yeah, I'll keep that on top. Start with Vial. Pass back. Burning Inquiry. That's kind of good because, like, our hand isn't that great. Oh, I was hoping Blood Gas would go to the graveyard. But opponent hits Hollow One already. That's pretty good. And unfortunately, he can't play anything now. So we'll pass back. Faithless Looting. And opponent gets back two Blood Gas. Jeez, what a turn. That was pretty fast. Pull another route chain. Might as well play it out. Adept and another Adept. And what do we do here? Could double block the Hollow One, but I don't think there's any point there. Maybe to buy some time, but I don't think we can come back here. So block Hollow One. Might as well see what we draw next. Yep, our opponent's got us here well they had an extraordinary hand I mean, getting all these cards out like almost on like i think all of them came out like turn two pretty much except for these guys but that's just too good for us so we gotta concede this one and move on to the next one opening hand one land hand but we do have vials so we'll keep arbor elf maybe pull guys sitting trap no other land but we do have another ether vials so we'll put that out utopia sprawl and the moss card but luckily we can use mausoleum wanderer to counter it cool what to play guys is pretty good but eidolon's pretty good as well so let's go ahead and use eidolon 
Pass back to our opponent. And Inferno Titan. Well, that's pretty good. So we lose Eidolon. Pull land. And best move here. I think we use the Geist now. The Strangle Root Geist, I mean. Just to keep him as a blocker. And then pass back to our opponent. The Rag Test. Opponent swings in. And we'll go ahead and chump block this dude. All right, on the end step, we'll Vile in the Geist. And might as well use Eidolon as well. Back on our turn, Rattle Chains. Could attack with everything. And then Vile in the Selfless Spirit to be sacrificed. Yeah, we could try that. Opponent blocks there. Okay, Vile in the Selfless Spirit. Sack it. Opponent goes to 14. Pass back. Utopia Sprawl. And Acidic Slime. Hmm. Getting rid of Ether Vile. Okay. Opponent swings in for 12. Hits us for for three so hoping he's target one of our creatures and just a chump block we'll go ahead drop in the rattle chains chump block here we go to six ether file no we can hit our opponent down the uh, man we're kind of screwed either way yep opponent's got this one on the game two going to game two i'm gonna get rid of two guys to same trap to put in one path to exile and one pithing needle and with that let's go to game two opening hand could be better but we'll keep start off with a mausoleum wander and pass back to our opponent utopia sprawl and we pull an idol that's pretty good so drop idol on swing for two. Oh, blood moon's pretty good against us we can still use rattle chains we'll hold on to it swing for three pass back to our opponent opponent pass back to us mausoleum wanderer cool do we hold into rattle chains or put out mausoleum wanderer i guess we'll swing in for three opponent six three and they'll put out mausoleum wanderer pass back to our opponent four mana attempts to destroy our island nope so we'll sacrifice mausoleum wanderer okay swing in for a three again opponent's at six already anger of the gods shoot slack mausoleum wanderer but it looks like the island's gonna die good news is that we can play rattle chains at the end of turn and then attack the next turn and put them at two yep and another rattle chains nice all right we got it see what our opponent does in response oh no way well it does buy them some time put out rattle chains okay swing in for four they go to two pass back birds of paradise birds of paradise again we take four on the ground sure and <laughs> another rattle chains wow pulling like the one card we can play opponent blocks there okay back to our opponent how will they worm out of this one? Oh no way come on but we still got it though because the end of turn will drop in rattle chains swing for two to finish them but man that was a tough one to pull out of so rattle chains it is and finish our opponent off for two and man we barely got out of that one all right on to game three no chains to sideboard opening hand one land hands a bit risky but we do pull an island in case we get blood moon i mean guess we can keep because of ether vial utopia sprawl self spirit for us drop in ether vial pass back our breath that's pretty good one land or no. well actually ether vial is not too bad so put ether vial out it's not a land but uh, pass back and another utopia sprawl okay oh boy blood moon sure and kitchen things hmm and pull a third ether vial okay it's not too bad especially since blood moon's out pass back to our opponent just gotta hope our opponent's hands empty take three from that uh oh acidic slime well might as well put something out self spirit at least we have two more shoot okay swing for two in the air and as long as our opponent's hands empty we're not in too bad of shape but eh, i don't know well shit huh well what can you do opponent has this for five okay file on the selfless spirit blood gas for health chains what do we do i think drug skull captain's good we need to start blocking some things though we'll swing in do we swing in no i think we gotta hold back for now let's pass back to our opponent oh man now what Jeez, no way all right sacrifice selfless spirit and mm. i was violent rattle chains and before von fire goes through we'll sacrifice the selfless spirit we go to five but no attack from opponent okay another blood gas might as well put out the other drog skull do we swing in yeah i guess so swing in for three opponent goes to 17 pass back and opponent does attack vile and rattle chains and might as well just double block with the both rattle chains not double block we can block each one that's what i meant so kitchen finks comes back and a ballot oh boy another blood moon okay what to do what to do well we'll kind of need to block the ballot if it comes to it so we'll just pass back to our opponent opponent swings and didn't really expect that okay spell queller we didn't really have to keep these guys untapped i guess we could have attacked last turn now block with a four five yeah shoot why didn't I attack? Rag test. Opponent's at 28. File on blood gas. Rattle chains. Hmm. Well, swing in for a lot. Opponent blocks there. Sure. Opponent does attack. Vile and rattle chains. Jump it. So they get the 3-3 three, three guy. And opponent uses acidic moss to kill our only land. Uh, spell color and blood gas we can use. Okay, that's not too bad. Swing with everything except for spell color. Do you even swing for spell? Well, yeah, swing with everything except for spell color. Okay. Opponent blocks like that. Back to our opponent. And they pull a land. Hmm. Vile in the blood gas. Hold back with spell color though. Nice. Pull a strangle root geist. It's good. We'll put that in swing i mean do they have anything with haste probably not let's go ahead swing with everything and we might actually win this one. Oh man opponent's at two no way actually we, we think we got it oh and they pull a land they're probably gonna put into play on taps watch this ah they do okay cool man we <laughs> came up against two blood moons we had no lands only vials two bonfire the dams i mean the odds were really stacked against us there but our opponent did kind of flood a bit i don't know pretty good comeback i think huh? still kind of bummed though i didn't attack with the, these two guys at one turn but a win's a win so on to the next one opening hand looks pretty good good we'll keep uh looks like dredge and dredge is pretty fast but they do only have four cards in hand so we have a shot here oh boy okay that's pretty fast already Ooh. oh dang all right we take four okay unfortunately island doesn't really help us here so let's we'll pass back and opponent attempts to swing in for one but we'll vile in the mausoleum wanderer and then rattle chains so now we've got a 2-2 to block the whatchamacallit and then we will block all right cool hmm blood gas do we go with the eidolon hmm yeah 
Yeah, I suppose we can play idle on this turn, so we'll play idle on. So we'll swing in for four and pass back to our opponent. There's a blood ghast in there. Hmm. Opponent uses faithless looting. Do we counter it? Yeah, I really don't want them hitting a land, so we're gonna go ahead, sacrifice this. Okay. Then vile and blood ghast. Back in our turn, vile will go to three, and we hit another land. So oh boy. So drug skull comes out. We got another drug skull on the way. Oh man, we don't get a chance to use it. Too bad. Well, we kind of got lucky there. I mean, dredge has a potential to be really, really fast, but we got there. So on to game two. Going into game two, make a lot of changes. Gonna get rid of all four eidolons, two guys, three blood gas to put in all relics of progenus, one fire spout, two of the labyrinth cards, and one path to exile and one worship. So with that, let's go to game two. Opening hand looks really good. We'll keep. I really want to start off with a relic, but I think we got to use ether vials to keep things moving. So ether vial, pass back to our opponent. But the fact they didn't play anything turn one probably means their hand isn't that great. So it's okay. We play this turn two. Oh shit. Well, at least we can play relic. Getting rid of the ancient grudge, and just as an F, you will play the second relic and pass back to our opponent. Opponent plays blood gas, and back to our turn to use fire spout. What do we do? Drog skull maybe spell queller. I think we'll hang on to spell queller. Pass back. Opponent swings into you spell queller. Nah, we'll wait. And good thing we did. Okay, spell queller that. Spell queller goes through. Okay, cool. And might as well use drog skull and swing in for three. Back to our opponent. Opponent swings in for two. No blocks. And opponent passes back to us. Hmm. All right. Put out selfless spirit and swing in for five. And dang, we only have one card in hand. Ooh man. Opponent swings again for two. Sure. And faithless looting. Okay. Okay. It looks like it's going back to our turn. Yes, indeed. All right. Swing in. Opponent goes to four. Pass back. Well, and there's the league. Four and one. That's not too bad. I would say I'm quite satisfied with those results, although I think the human deck might be slightly better for the meta right now, but five color spirits does seem quite viable. But I do want to see the deck in action just a bit more, so I'm going to play a few more matches. Not a full league, though, because I want to make sure I get this video out soon, because I feel like I'm a bit behind on the uploads, trying to shoot for two uploads a week. So, so we'll do a couple of on-demand matches and see how those go. And uh, so far, the deck, though, I'm pretty happy with it. But on to the on-demand matches. Opening hand's all right, but I think it could be a bit better, so I'm going to mull. Oh, wow. That, that's not what I had in mind. Okay, mulligan. This works. Okay, we'll keep. At least we have Ether Vial, one land. That should be good enough. I'm actually going to keep this on top. Goblin Guide. So to start things off, we use Ether Vial and pass the turn back. Another Goblin Guide and a Lava Spike. And we got a third Mausoleum Wanderer on top. Okay. So back in our turn, we can dump one now and then keep the other one for our opponent's turn. Monastery. And opponent swings in with both. Hmm. Oh, land. And another land. Nice. Okay. Vial and the Mausoleum Wanderer. So this one becomes a 2 2. Block one of them. And the Boros Harm. Well, I think that's definitely worth sacrificing this too. So back to our turn. Another land. I think the best move here Mausoleum Wanderer and then Vial in the Strangle Root on our opponent's turn. And then pass back to our opponent. Hopefully we can survive. Five. Opponent swings in, file in the string group, but then opponent skull cracks us. We could chump the monastery. Yeah, we'll chump the monastery and then block the goblin guy with the mausoleum wanderer. So that way we stay at six. Okay, get another strangle root. We'll swing in for three and put out the string root to block. And we'll plan on violing in the guys at the end of our opponent's turn, assuming we're still alive. Well, he only has one card in hand, so I think we're fine. No attacks from our opponent to land. File in the geist. And our opponent concedes. Alright, would we have gotten that one? I think we would have gotten that. So what would he have drawn? Well, actually, I don't know. I mean, mm, taking eleven. Yeah, he would have been dead the following turn. So Okay, we would have gotten there. So on to game two. Going into game two, I'm going to get rid of three blood gas for one fire spout, one path to exile, and one worship. And with that, let's go to game two. Opening hand's pretty good, but a bit too land heavy, so I'm going to mull. This is better. We'll keep. Eidolon, eh, it's not really that great in this matchup, so we'll bottom that. Opponent Lava Spikes us, which is a good sign since that probably means he doesn't have creatures. Or maybe Eidolon, but no monasteries and no goblin guides. That's good. So for us, we'll start off with Ether Vial, pass back, and a Boros Charm, sure. Okay, Selfless Spirit for us. So we'll play the Selfless Spirit now, and we'll plan on doing the Mausoleum Wanderer here. Let's see what he's going to play molten rain all right definitely worth using mausoleum wander on so sacrifice to counter that and back to our turn another land hmm. swing in for two comes to 15 pass back we'll use rattle chains if we need to we'll probably just put it into play no matter what this turn goblin guide opponent swings what do you pull off the top spell queller hmm don't think blocking with rattle chains is the best idea so no blocks and at the end of turn we'll use rattle chains even though he might have like steering blaze or something but oh well skull cracks us sure okay so we got a spell queller we can use what should we do here don't want to keep taking damage from goblin guide but i want to put some pressure on him so i'm gonna go ahead attack for four pass back to our opponent It'd be really nice to use this path to exile but we don't have the lands for it opponent swings and we have a guy sitting trapped on top okay no blocks he knows we have a spell caller so i don't really think he's going to do anything so no he passes back to us i guess we'll hang on the spell caller i kind of feel like we need to start blocking this thing hmm. could block with guys no nah, that's not very smart well it could block with guys sacrifice the self of spirit that might not be a bad idea so we'll do that so again four opponent goes to seven pass back opponent skull cracks okay spell caller in response to so take the skull crack and opponent uses lightning bolt Ooh. i think we've got to sacrifice self of spirit to save it so 
don't want him to get skull cracked back. Okay. At least we have block of the spell color though. So we're in good position here. Three opponent has another molten rain. Yep. All right. So no cards in hand. I think we got this one. So no attacks from our opponent. Vile and the guys. Yeah. And even if he blocks though, he's going to take, yeah, he takes lethal. Okay, cool. So pretty straightforward. On to the next one. Opening hand looks really good with vile. So we'll keep. And opponent has a vile of their own. Okay. Mausoleum Wanderer. We'll go ahead and do vile. Normally I'd go for idol on turn two, but I don't even know if idol going to be that great with ether vile out on our opponent's side. I don't know. That's still pretty good, I guess. Esper. Esper creature stuff? Uh, what deck is this? We'll go ahead, try Eidolon, and we can Vile in the Mausoleum Wanderer on our opponent's turn. Opponent Vile's in. What is it? Ah, Esper Spirits. Cool. Opponent swings in. Not going to block, because we could have Viled in the Wanderer and block, but no. End of our opponent's turn, Vile in the Mausoleum Wanderer. Back on our turn. Hmm. A lot of good stuff we could do. I think Drog Skull Captain's the best, though. We'll do that. So Drog Skull comes out. Could Vile in one of these. I think we'll hang on to Rattle Chains, though, in case he has something. Or Selfless Spirit. So swing for six. Opponent goes to 14. Pack to him. No attacks from opponent. Goes to end step. At the end of his turn, we use Selfless Spirit. Now I have Spell Color. Okay. Swing in for an Ass Load. Opponent blocks there. Hmm, that's suspicious. Will we see Drog Skull? No? All right. Opponent goes to six. How will our opponent get out of this one? Opponent vials in Drog Skull and attempts to cast Phantasmal Image. We can Spell Call that. Yeah. And opponent concedes there. Okay, cool. Spirits versus Spirits. On to game two. Going into game two, you may get rid of one Eidolon, two guys to St. Traff to put in one Warship, one Path to Exile, and one Fire Spout. And with that, let's go to game two. Opening hand, three lands. Ether Vial will keep. Opponent drops Mausoleum Wanderer. Full Blood Gas. Okay, start off with Ether Vial for us. Back to our opponent. Opponent swings in for one. And back on our turn, there's a couple things we can do. We have Rattled Chains, Blood Gas. I think Blood Gas would probably be the best move here. So that puts some pressure on him to make a move quickly. Okay, let's see what our opponent's got. Opponent plays Kira. Sure. Swings in for two. Take two. Pull another Cavern. Sure. Probably should attack first before I did that, but oh well. Swing in for two with Geist. Probably should have played the land after we attack, but I'm pretty sure he's not going to block here. Yep. Nope. Then we'll save the Spell Color for our opponent's turn as well as the Rattled Chains. Drog Skull Captain. That's definitely worth spell calling, so we'll do that. So we take Drog Skull. No attacks from opponent. At the end of his turn, we'll use Rattle Chains just to get some extra bodies out. Now back on our turn, I think we got to be aggressive here. We'll swing in, Vile in the Drog Skull Captain if we need it. I think well, we'll Vile in no matter what, actually. And swing in. No blocks from opponent. Okay, Vile in Drog Skull. So opponent's going to take nine. Cool. Back to our opponent. Ooh, an Engineered Explosives. Hmm. So it looks like we're going to lose Drog Skull and Spell Quiller. But he does lose Kira in the process as well. Okay. No attacks from opponent. At the end of his turn, we're going to Vile in the Rattle Chains just to get an extra guy out. And now I'll go ahead and force him into some unfavorable blocks. It'll land. Swing with all three. Opponent blocks like that. Sure. And then we'll pass back to our opponent. Phantasmal image. Sure. So that does make it hard for us to attack. Hmm. Another land. Wow. All right. No attacks from us. Back to our opponent. Opponent makes a dude. And a phantasmal image. Oh boy. He's at three, but I think we might actually lose this one. So we take four. Mausoleum Wander. I think our only shot here is to pull Warship. But even then, it's going to be tough. Let's see if we can get there. <laughs> and another drug skull. All right. I mean, that's basically lethal right there. So let's go to game three. They got us. I mean, <laughs> three life. All right. Since we're on the play, I'm going to swap out the Warship for an extra Eidolon. And with that, let's go to game three. Opening hand seems pretty good since we can drop Eidolon turn two. So we'll keep Pull we'll Drog Skull Captain. Okay, start with Eidolon. And our hand looks pretty good. If we can do Drog Skull next turn, then followed by another Drog Skull, I think that should do it. And basically, we'll be doing to our opponent what he did to us last game, just like dropping all the Drog Skulls back to back and getting double hex proof. So I think that's good. So first Drog Skull comes out. So we have a 3 3. You can't really flash anything. You flash in Rattle Chains, but you won't be able to kill Eidolon. So we're safe attacking. He goes to 17. Still no plays from our opponent. Interesting. Back on our turn. I mean, what are the odds he has like Damnation or Wrath of God? I don't. I don't think he would do that. I guess the Mausoleum Wander kind of covers that, and the next turn, Selfless Spirit can cover us again, so I think we're safe. Will we see Spell Queller? Yep, sounds good. I mean, losing the Mausoleum Wander isn't that big of a deal, so use Drog Skull Captain. So now both Drog Skulls will have Hexproof, and swing in for seven. The best shot he has of winning is to drop like a Wrath of God or Damnation this turn, which means we'll get this back, but other than that, I don't really see how he's going to come back from this. Opponent passes back to us. Mausoleum Wander. Hmm. Best move here, I think, is Selfless Spirit. See if we can draw any Spell Quellers out of him. Nope. And that should do it. Swing with everything. What? No way. <laughs> Okay. Oh, why did I play Mausoleum Wanderer? Who plays that in modern? Well, at least we can search for three basics. Oh, wait, we don't have any basics. Oops. So pass the turn back. All right, Drog Skull Captain. <laughs> Phantasmal image. Okay. Opponent swings in for four. Will Vile and Rattle Chains. And I don't think we can get out of this one. Oh, no. Uh, Mausoleum Wanderer, pass the turn back. Man, it's like a repeat of last game. Settle the wreckage. Oh, man, if I only had played Mausoleum Wanderer, we would have been lots 
safe right i just didn't think i mean who no one plays that card all right well i guess you got us i mean yeah and i think that's a good one to end on i mean spirits versus spirits seems very poetic i guess so we had a good run so in conclusion i think the deck did pretty well there were a few issues i think the first one is guys the saint trapped although it's a really really good spirit arguably the best spirit out there i mean maybe eidolon's a little bit better but an iconic spirit didn't really perform all that well just there's so many creature decks out there that can block and even though it's extremely good against control decks we already are pretty good against control decks with mausoleum wanderer cavern of souls eidolon so guys seemed a bit overkill but i think by far the worst matchups we'll have will be against creature heavy decks like elves i mean even though we didn't really see that well i suppose the spirit mirror was kind of creature heavy but i'm talking about like elves in those situations we have a hard time like or even merfolk or something like that so i think there's definitely needs to be some tweaks made to make it good against those creature heavy decks so i'd probably say get rid of geist maybe cut a few extra lands because 22 lands is a bit high and sideboard also like we have spirit of the labyrinth which is really good against control decks and combo decks but we're already pretty good against control decks and combo decks so it seems a bit overkill same thing with the idol of rhetoric maybe even add extra fire spouts i think fire spouts pretty good like if we face off against merfolk or elves that'd be really good against that but overall i was pretty happy with the core of the deck like idol did a lot of work blood gas is good against control decks where late game blood gas can come back strangle root also is very resilient just like blood gas and i think these three cards alone justify the five color build i think the blue white version is still a little bit cleaner but i do think having green red and black for these guys makes your deck a little bit more potent than if we just gone blue white spirits because the problem with blue white spirits is that there's a couple really good ones like drog skull geist but it's really hard to fill out an entire deck with just blue and white spirits so i felt like these guys really up the quality of the deck and it'll be interesting to see what other five color tribal builds come out of having unclaimed territory in the meta now there's five color humans there's five color spirits now we can make something like maybe five color slivers you know that'd be a lot harder to pull off just because like that kind of needs to have swamps in the mix but i think now with unclaimed territory out i think wizards in the future is going to be extra careful to not make certain tribes too powerful like i can't really imagine them going back to vampires or spirits or even humans for that matter because like it's already so powerful like how much more powerful does it need to be before it breaks the meta but i suppose that is all for now and if you want to see more content like this make sure you subscribe let me know in the comments if you want to see more modern videos like this and as always i hope you have a great day